Question number three, what's the watering situation for this garden? Is there a working outdoor tap close to the garden and a lightweight hose with a proper multi-setting nozzle at the tip that reaches all ends of the garden? If the hose is heavy or doesn't reach or both, you've got to fix that. Test the tap, make sure it works because just because there is, a, there is a tap, it doesn't mean it works. In most cases, it doesn't. Even when the custodian says that it does, it still doesn't mean it does. <laughs> Take your students to the, to the setup and watch them work with the hose. You don't want to have to do it yourself for them. You want to empower them to do the work. If the hose is too heavy or hard to work with or it's too short, change it. You'll thank me later. Do not use sprinklers or watering cans, please. I'm going to explain why in future episodes, but just for now, don't. If you have a soaker hose or a drip irrigation installed, good for you. Test it. Make sure it works. And if not, get it fixed right away. Question number four. Does the garden get full sun? This is one of the most important aspects. You all know that vegetable gardens need lots of sunlight. But when it comes to it, some of us settle for less and our gardens fail. Don't do that. No matter how pretty and well laid your garden is designed, no matter how well the watering system works, no matter how rich the soil is, if you don't have enough sunlight, just don't bother. And I'm not even joking. That could be the reason that garden was abandoned. Honestly, not worth any efforts. 